the time has finally come for me to open this beauty and to showcase it to the world because I deserve it. <laughs> ah, okay, well actually you deserve it. I need to show it to you and I need to finally get it out of the way because I am so paranoid to wear it. It is in this box. A lot of you guessed wrong. And I am so happy you didn't guess it because I love surprising you guys and this is a piece that when I open it you will understand why I could not have worn it without showing it to you first. <gasps> Do you hate me yet? Ta-da! <laughs> Are you blind yet? <laughs> insane. I was chasing this ring like if it were a hot guy who kept rejecting me and I became more and more obsessed with him it because it was never available in my size. It was never available in a 55 so for this ring I right away want to cover the sizing. You have to go a size down because it's an open ring. It's called between the finger ring so it has a space for your finger to expand if it wants to. So you don't want, if it's a heavy ring, you don't want to go larger than um, necessary, than your true size. So it had to be in a 55. Before I thought that I am a 56 for this ring and I wanted it strictly for my index finger. And I had to nail the size because Van Cleef doesn't allow this type of a ring to be resized. So between the finger ring is going to lose its, I don't know, integrity or something. So they do not resize it except for Bellagio in Vegas. They break rules left and right because their local jeweler resizes this ring and in between the finger rings. And they said that if their jeweler does it, nobody can even tell and they're technically not supposed to do that, but they do it anyway. And I don't appreciate that because that's one of Van Cleef rules. So yeah, Van Cleef rules. <laughs> anyway, guys, I am so excited because they replenished this ring in two sizes. They had it in a 55 and a 56 and I tried both and I'm very happy that they had both because I always felt like, mm, I don't trust that opening. It's too small. I don't like tight rings. I wanted to nail the size. They got two in stock a couple of days before Black Friday. I was so surprised that they still had it. When I asked Ya Ying, she said that they have the ones with small flowers like the pendant I have, but she was not sure whether they had this one and she brought the two sizes for me. I almost cried. Like, I literally almost cried. <sighs> there. Now I feel like I exclusively sleep with old rich men. Isn't that the dream? I look like a Trump's mistress. Like a thousand dollar a night kind of deal. I always admired expensive hookers. Like, seriously, I feel like Josephine from Napoleon. And what a great movie it was. Like, I don't like movies where they fight a lot and that was just it. You should go and see it if you haven't yet. Um, getting off topic here, but I cannot stop staring at this ring. I didn't even wear any earrings today because, and no rings, because I knew I was gonna wear this ring. So I wore this ring once in bed to watch a movie with Alex and it already got scratched. So be very careful because for all scratches like butter, it is very, very buttery polish, uh, mirror-like polish. And because the hearts, those are the hearts that create the flower, they are large. You need to be kind of careful. It also fits my middle finger, but I prefer it on my index finger. I wanted it exclusively for my index finger. There was no negotiation. I wasn't gonna budge because this ring is extremely feminine. That is not my vibe at all. And because I have tattoos on my hands, I felt like I can get away with it for index finger. It's not gonna look too girly on me and it's gonna balance my roughness, rough exterior. I don't think I have a rough exterior, but you know what I mean. So I wanted it for my index finger only, like this, and for my right hand, because my right hand's fingers are slightly bigger. So if it fits this index finger, it's gonna definitely fit this index finger. And I also have my Diamond Pave Magic Ring for 
uh, my ring finger for my right hand. I wanted it specifically for this finger, so... And now I have two right finger rings for going out, and they're huge, and I love them so, so very much. Ya Ying told me that there is no way they can get this magic ring in Pave anymore. The wait list is closed, pre-order is not available, so... And necklaces, the same thing, but we spoke about rings, so I'm not sure. But she said that there is no way you can get that ring anymore. Thank God I got it a few years back on my birthday. It was the best present ever and I love it so, so very much. And that ring is so dear to me. It's so my cup of tea because it is in white gold and diamonds. It's just absolutely stunning. <laughs> Fingerprints are extremely visible on this ring, so you need to be careful. You need to wipe it with a microfiber cloth. You can wash your hands with it, which is a good thing. It's kind of bulky and it's heavy. This ring in this size is almost 13 grams. It is 12.85 grams. And now, because I told you that I was after a ring, I wanted you to give me your suggestions. And so many of you suggested uh, the panther ring. And the next day, after I posted my ring collection video, I actually went to Cartier to try that ring on. I'm gonna include the footage so what I was told about that ring, because I need to ask everything, and I asked my essay about the onyx nose, because I wasn't very comfortable with that ring being so expensive and not being able to wash my hands. And she said that there were instances when people brought it back with the nose cracked and fallen out. So that to me was a huge no-no. I pretty much was done with my appointment. I did not want to try anything else on because I actually really loved the ring. If I got the Panther ring, I would get a thicker version, but plain, and I would probably get it in yellow gold because such a chunky ring should be in yellow gold, in my opinion. That ring was absolutely stunning. The eyes were so gorgeous and glittery, but I have Johnny's hair on my face somewhere. But the nose threw me off. And I know there are magic rings in Malachite as well as Mother of Pearl. But, but I also wanted a ring that when I go to powder my nose, I can wash my hands with it and not take it off in a ladies' room. And then what if I forget it? Oh my gosh, that would be such a nightmare. So this ring was always always my dream piece. This ring was such a dream of mine, and I feel like it is not as expensive as it should be. I feel like Van Cleef is gonna raise prices for this collection and this ring specifically, because it does have a lot of gold. The purpose of the ring is to make a statement, so it's a going out ring, and that ring should be priced slightly higher, in my opinion. So if you want it, get it. You can still order it in any size. You can get it. If it's not in the store, you can order it and you will get it probably soon, I would say, which is a good thing considering Christmas is coming. And this ring just elevates everything. I don't need anything really, just this one piece and I'm done. And when I'm an old lady, I'm gonna get a matching pair of earrings, but only in my old age, because right now I don't like matchy-matchy matching my things. I've collected about 25 pieces from Van Cleef by now. I'm not sure exactly the number. I just don't like constantly matching things and I feel like all of the Alhambra collection goes together. So, but that's just my opinion. But when I'm older, I feel like maybe if I want to add a pair of earrings, that will be great. Because when I'm old, I feel like I'm gonna be like Yubaba, counting my rubies and my stones and just admiring them and counting gold coins. For now, I'm done. I have um, another Van Cleef unboxing coming, that's my Christmas present, so I just feel like I should shut the fuck up and uh, chill for a little bit because that's just too much, it's overwhelming. It's nice, it gives you a lot of joy, a lot of happiness, but at the same time you're skipping on wearing other pieces because when I don't, I feel guilty. We already spoke about that, you know that side of me. But there was another ring that I was gonna get if this one would not become available within the next two years. I would go for this ring. This ring is very me. It is very masculine. It is very expensive, even though it doesn't have diamonds. But I feel like it would suit my personality and my um, style the most. But I gave it two years to come to me 
and it did so if it didn't I would go for that ring but I'm just throwing it out there because if you're interested in a chunky bulky ring a statement ring that one is absolutely stunning as well but panther ring the larger version really spoke to me as well and if I had a rich person's mentality then I would get it for just going out but I also want the piece to last I want it to be stress-free and I wanted to, you know, um, be in my family for generations to come. So those little things matter to me. Even one instance of the nose falling out would absolutely stop me from getting that ring. So I wanted to share that with you just in case because so many of you admire that ring and I can see why. If you haven't watched The Mummy from 2017 with Tom Cruise, you have to promise me that you will watch that movie tonight okay maybe tomorrow just put your phone aside pour yourself a glass of wine and do it you will not regret it the mummy princess Amanet. that is the love of my life if i were a guy like her aesthetic her makeup her jewelry she is the embodiment of everything that I would want to look like and more like she is so stunning and she is a model in real life but she did such an amazing acting job like she was great and also watch Napoleon while you're at it <laughs> for that you need to get out I had a blast filming this video so thank you very much for joining me I love opening new shiny things for you I think I will do vlogmas this is one of my vlogmas um vlogmases but to me this is because I am showing you the footage from the store and my try on so I wanted um your ideas for the vlogmas because I wanted to possibly review a piece of jewelry and really deep dive into all of the specs of well any piece you want really so I thought that that would be interesting for um, my audience and let me know what you think and if you prefer me to go out and film myself out there in the wild like an animal I can do that as well thank you very much for watching if you found this video interesting or entertaining give it a like subscribe to my channel comment down below ring the bell and I will see you tomorrow bye guys